grade three, four class reporting from Hugh Karen School. For the last few months, we have been using the inquiry process to guide us through to guide us to investigate how rocks, minerals, and soil are important to us. Our big question was, why are rocks, minerals, and soil important to us? I have learned to ask questions. This has helped me as a learner because when I ask questions, I can break one big one down to small ones. This makes it easier to find answers. Before inquiry, I didn't know what keywords were, but now I know what they are. And they help me find answers to my research. Keywords are terms that you can search. These words can help you find more specific information. To organize research, there is something called a graphic organizer. You can do a graphic organizer by making a t-chart, a web, or dividing your page into sections. A database is where you get information. The information is true. Kids Info Bits is a database. I like Encore. The database shows pictures and letters that you can read and also it can read to you and you can listen to good information. Thanks to Inquiry, I learned how to use Advanced Search. It helps take away the hard words and information that we don't understand on a website. I use the, the translation to help me learn about mineral. I also learned that if I know an expert, I should contact them and see if they can help me. I got to talk with an archaeologist about soil. I got to talk with a mining expert after when he was done talking. We got to look at minerals. I got a piece of potash. To help us make connections, we had to share our learning with each other. We learned about representing our learning when we created an interactive bulletin board. We made a map to show the logs, mills, and soil in Saskatchewan. We used AudioBoo to share our learning about rocks, minerals, and soil. On Audioboo, we can record our voice so other people can hear our good learning and thinking. Before we started Inquiry, I didn't know what a QR code was. In fact, I never heard of a QR code. Not when I see one, I know what it means and how it works. With QR codes, you will use an iPhone, iPad, or iPod and get an app, scan it, and it will pull up a website. We have to reflect when we're moving on. And we have to think in our head. We also have to write our thinking in our anchor journals. This helps us think about what we learned and what we need to do next. We have used the blog to reflect on our knowledge that we have learned in inquiry. We have done a lot of teamwork in inquiry. Now we know how to cooperate and work together in groups. Inquiry is fun. It teaches us all sorts of skills. It can help us learn in all sorts of subjects and areas.